In this video, we will be discussing the chapters of JE preparation of class 11, 12 physics, which you can study in class 9, 10 as well. Okay. So I have shortlisted some chapters which are a little easy to understand and they are more in the context of class 9, 10 than any, anything else. So you can study these chapters in your 9, 10 itself. I myself did it too. Okay. If you're new to the channel, do subscribe and press the notifications. As usual, I'm not saying this for increasing the subscribers. I'm saying this purely because if you don't do the notifications and subscriptions, these videos might not be suggested to you. Okay. So the first portion which I would like to talk about is mechanics. Okay. I'm not going to write down every portion because otherwise the board will be completely filled. I'll just mention them verbally. So in the beginning of your class 11, the mechanics portion is there. And in that the first thing is your units and dimensions and mathematics. Okay. So there they teach you the basics of physics like units, dimension analysis, and then they teach you differentiation, integration, a bit of vectors as well. So these things are a must learn. You can study them in class 9, 10 itself because 90% of class 11 students struggle in these topics. And if you already know them, that will be very good for you. After that, kinematics is there. That is also important. You can study it. It is also there in your class 9. So it's an extension of it. So you can study it. NLM, you have to study work power energy. You have to study uh, center of mass rotation. All of these chapters are must study for everyone in class 9th and 10th. If you are preparing for J, I I mean, I'm not asking you that you should know everything of these chapters, but these are the list of chapters that you can consider studying from books like H.C. Verma or if you take our uh, J foundation course, you can study from there as well. Okay. So these are the chapters in mechanics that you should study. If you noticed, I did not mention send, uh, that simple harmonic motion because I don't think that a class 9th student is required to study that because it has a bit too much of mathematical analysis and that is usually not asked as much in examinations in class 19 and you can always study it later okay so the most important chapters of uh, this mechanics portion is a the introduction to physics part where you learn vectors and uh, mathematics um, kinematics nlm and work by energy these are like the must haves okay com and uh, rotation are still a bit difficult so if you don't study them it's understandable okay next portion is your uh, waves okay which is in your class 11th itself there you will have string waves which you don't need to study according to me in hc verma there is a string wave chapter which is a bit difficult to grasp and there is a sound waves as well i think these chapters are a bit optional even shm is inside waves only in a way so this is a bit optional according to me okay because in 9 10 you don't have as much time to study everything right and you are better off spending your time on mechanics or electromagnetism as we'll talk later than on waves because here most of the topics are usually not topics that you will ask in class 9 10th exam you can always study them for je later okay i think the only exception here is maybe doppler effect that's uh, 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 like from that topic some questions have come in ijs so, so that you can maybe study otherwise this topic is a bit hard to understand because there's a lot of sine theta cos theta going on here and some of you might find it hard to understand so you can skip this chapter but if you still want to study the only chapter i would suggest is sound waves string waves and shm you can skip okay third is your thermodynamics okay uh, so here uh, you can study this portion because a it is easy and b it is repeated in your uh, chemistry as well so in this you will study kinetic theory of gases you will study thermodynamics first and second law and uh, you will study a uh, bit about heat transfer you know all of that ms delta t and all of that latent heat of this that so these are topics are good some of them are already in your ninth class and they are all easy there is no integration differentiation vectors going on in this chapter so it's a bit easy and the weightage of this portion is also very good because it is repeated in chemistry even if you look at uh exams like ihs so for example there there are a lot of questions from hess's law and all of those things however they are in chemistry but still it's a bit common thing right and then uh, there are a lot of questions related to melting of ice in a water bucket and all of those things right i'm pretty sure some of you have done those types of questions so this is a chapter which you can study completely also it is fine okay ncrt is a good resource for this or even you can study hc verma also for this book chapter okay again this is not as important in mechanics but it is easy and it has a bit of it so you can give that time to this uh, section okay then we come to class 12th where we have your electromagnetism portion okay now here you can study electrostatics but you have to study only the coulomb's law and the very basic electrostatics like potential and all of those things you don't need to study gauss's law you don't need to study capacitors those things are not relevant for you then uh, current electricity that chapter you can study fully okay you can study everything kirchhoff laws and uh, everything you can study because those things will come in exams even in even if you look at exams like ijs and all they have these kinds of questions okay 
and even in ntac sometimes questions like uh, equivalent resistance using kirchhoff law i mean you can always calculate uh, resistance using other methods but if you know the class 12 portions of electromagnetism like you know a bit about ammeter voltmeter uh, you know circuit analysis that helps a lot here you can skip that drift velocity content that is not relevant for a lot of you you can skip that portion otherwise it is important magnetism again uh, it is not going to be asked that much because it's a bit difficult topic uh, especially those biot savart law all of these things are irrelevant maybe you can study a bit about magnetic field due to a current uh, maybe a bit of ampere's law that's the maximum i would go you can do a reading of ncert or hcr ma but again i think it is optional okay then emi you can study emi it's a bit easy chapter uh, but don't go too much into it okay emi can become very convoluting if you go too deep into it but you can study the basics of it you know some basic formula like emf induced in a loop all of those simple simple things you can a study okay and uh, ac there is no need of studying ac electromagnetic waves there is no use of studying electromagnetic waves permanent magnets there is no use of studying that right now so electromagnetism for the most part is optional okay for the most part is optional only the basics of electrostatics and current electricity and the basics of emi i think these are the and basics of uh, magnetism due to current these are the only chapters which i would say you can consider studying everything else is optional or maybe you can even avoid it actively fifth is your optics now here everything is optional except for geometrical optics you don't need to study wave optics at all it is not relevant bilkul padhne ki zarurat nahi aapko theek hai it will come in class 12th there will come a time because right now there i cannot think of a single exam where a question of wave optics has come in class 9 10th okay or even in 11th it has never come it is a very advanced topic and it goes a little bit into modern physics as well you know things which are beyond the scope of your class 11 12th so this topic will not be asked the only topic which you should study which you must study is geometrical optics i would say geometrical optics and current electricity are the most important topics of class 12 which a class 9 10 student should know so if you look at geometrical optics there is not much calculations just some basic trigonometry in it uh, so you can study that optical instruments okay if you want you are interested you can study but i never found it appealing it's a bit boring to me so i just studied the basic formulas and you know the basic concepts of geometrical optics okay and last is your modern physics so in modern physics i would say uh you can study atoms uh, there is a chapter on atoms in ncert there is a chapter on nuclei as well so in nuclei you can study the radioactivity part because from that some question might come and it is repeated in your class 12 chemistry as well and in atoms you can study the basic you know bohr's postulate and all that you don't need to go into quantum mechanics and all that is not relevant at all uh and it is completely foolish to delve into those things in class 11 12 okay i delved into these things but i in hindsight i find them foolish that i did so okay so i hope i made myself very clear again you must understand a few things here that if you notice i have maybe told you 10 to 15 chapters which are relevant okay uh, for example basics of physics then i talked about uh, that uh, kinematics then nlm and then uh, work by energy com rotation these are the only five or six chapters i talked about here i talked about uh, i said nothing is important maybe sound waves here i talked about maybe there are three chapters also you can count as important electromagnetism i told you only two chapters okay half electrostatics full current electricity and half emi and here i only only to one topic here also i told you only one and a half topics so if you count them all it's only 10 12 14 13 chapters and these are the only chapters you should consider studying i'm not saying you should be able to study all of them so out of these 12 chapters let's say even if you study four you are good to go what i'm saying is that after these 12 topics you don't need to study anything after that you can study maths or chemistry but these are the only 12 13 topics you study now for example if someone decides to study wave optics that is not relevant because you can always study later but it will not help you in your current exams okay so it would be much better if you dedicate the time which you would have spent on wave optics on some other subject or so on some on, on one of these more important topics once you are done with all these topics then you can do whatever you want but most of you are probably not so i would suggest you first go with the chapters which are marked as important in this list so i hope this list helped you and if you need more help with your jee preparation early on then you should enroll in our jee foundation course this course is everything you need for your jee prep a uh, video lectures test series with solutions uh, dpp resolution we teach you concepts of class 9 10 from scratch then we take you to jee level and of all the other exams which are held in class 9 like olympiads ntsc i this so are mo everything okay so thanks a lot for watching you can check the description section for our courses good luck